Shilaba. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, we give you honor and all the adoration in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this far. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and all the adoration. We thank you for this far. We give you praise, my Father, my God. You are mighty. You are powerful. You are awesome. You are glorious, my Father, my God. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Receive all the adoration in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have come before your throne of grace and mercy this morning, this night, oh God, in the name of Jesus because you are mighty you are powerful my father my god in the name of jesus you are powerful my father my god receive all the glory receive all the honor and all the adoration in the name of jesus father we thank you lord we worship you we give you praise in jesus mighty mighty name we pray amen hallelujah we want to thank god for this night we want to thank god for this far this is our month the month of uh, april it is the month of speaking things to be the month of april is the month of speaking things to be in the name of jesus this is the month of declaration this is the month of speaking child of god in the name of jesus you shall speak things to be in the mighty name of jesus i want you to say and write and say i will not fail my god in faith i will not fail my god in faith in the name of jesus this the moment that God is doing mighty things. God is moving with speed. But God wants you to have faith in him. Believe God in everything. Believe God whatever he said, child of God. No matter what you're going through, no matter what is happening around you, just believe him. Just believe him. Even if you do not see, just believe God in the name of Jesus. Praise the living God. I want to thank God for you and I want to appreciate you so much for being our guest this morning, this evening in the name of Jesus, this night. May the Lord bless you so much as you are uh, tuning in this night in the name of Jesus. Kindly share this message with others. Kindly ring that bell. It may notify you for the next sermon. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Please uh, share it and uh, uh, subscribe it. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I am talking about uh, faith in action. I'm talking about topic tonight is faith in action. Faith that works. Praise the living God. Faith in action. It is faith that works. Faith that makes things move. Praise the living God. When we are talking about faith, faith is a very vital thing in the kingdom of God. Faith is very important in the kingdom of God. It is very important because without faith there is nothing, there is no business that you can transact in the, in the, in the spiritual realm or in the kingdom of God. Faith is a, a heavenly currency that is used to transact the, the spiritual business in the spirit in the in the in, in the in the in the in the spiritual realm. Praise the living God. You must have faith if you want to transact any business in the in the spiritual realm. Praise the living God. Most of us are struggling. Most of us are struggling because we only believe, but we do not put our faith in action. We do not put our faith to begin working. Praise the living God. We do we we struggle a lot because our 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 faith is not in action. Praise the living God. Child of God, faith has got two sides. Faith has got two sides. Number one side of faith is I believe. Number one side of faith is I believe, and then the other side of faith is action. Praise the living God. So with we faith is beyond believing. So you must. Buy faith up with uh, action praise the living God most of us are most of us are only believing God they are believing God for big things but they are believing God for big, big things which is very good very good very good to believe God for big big things but until you back it up with faith it is not enough faith alone without Action is not enough, child of God. So you need to back faith up with action. Praise the living God. Faith without action is dead. Faith without action is dead. It is a faith that has landed that has not done anything. So your faith needs to be backed up. Faith is like ingredients that is mixed up with the word of God so that you can get a result. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So faith is a decision that you have to make. Faith is a decision that you have to make that when I do this, I will get this result results praise the living god that is when we talk about faith faith is a decision that you have to make that when i do this be faith is an assurance praise the living god hallelujah so the, that is why we say faith is an assurance of what you hope for and you do not see. So having assurance in faith, praise the living God. Faith is like a title deed. Faith like, is like, like a title deed. When you have a title deed, you can approach any bank and you're getting loan. So when you have faith, you cannot transact any business in the kingdom of God. That is why we say that faith 
there, we, with faith, there is nothing too difficult. Praise the living God. When a person believes, there is nothing too difficult. Praise the living God. You can do anything when a person believes. Hallelujah. That is why we talk about faith is what? A title deed, child of God. Faith is not a, a faith is not faith unless you put faith in action. Faith is not faith unless you put faith in action. So when when you come to the when come to the kingdom of God, faith is very important, child of God. You cannot do anything without faith. You cannot please God without faith. So if you cannot please God without faith, and God is the one that reward, God is the one that bless, God is the one that lift, God is the one that changes. So if you cannot please him, so it means nothing will work for you unless you have faith. Hallelujah. May the Lord give you faith. May you receive faith. May you receive faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, you cannot please God without faith. You cannot please God without faith. So in other words, what do I mean? Everything in the kingdom of God, everything in the kingdom of God cannot work unless you back it up with faith. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So you can do all things. You can do things in the kingdom of God. You can pray. You can pray, child of God. You can pray. You can be dedicated in the kingdom of God. You can serve God. You can give tithe. You can give offering. And you can also give sacrificial what? Giving. But minus pay faith, you cannot Please God. All these things you can do them, but without faith, they will be what? All will be in vain. Praise the living God. They will be in vain. Praise the living God. So without faith, you cannot please God. No matter how much you pay, no matter how much you pray, you can pray for four hours, you can pray for five hours, but without faith, you cannot please God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Child of God, without faith, you cannot please God. There is no business that you can transact in the world, in the kingdom of God. An altar, when you go to an altar of God, praise the living God. When when you go to an altar of God, child of God, you believe that there is a transaction that is taking place. You know, some of us, when we come to giving, when we come to giving, we come to God every Sunday or any time you come before the Lord. The Bible said, do not come before me what empty handed. So you are coming with, with an offering or we are coming with an offering to God. This offering, you believe you are going to meet God. You have never seen him. So you believe that there is an immortal in an altar. There is a transaction that is taking place in an altar. By believing God, so this will be complete. Praise the living God. Some of us, we come with, with offering. We do not even know why we carry it. Praise the living God. So when you do not believe, it will not work. So an altar is a place of what? Transaction. So what you do in an altar, it is there is a transaction. There's immortal and mortal submitting. Altar is a place where divinity and what? Uh, 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 the, 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 the divinity and what? The, 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 the mortals are meeting what? The immortals, praise the living God. So transaction is taking place. Hallelujah. Transaction is taking place. So you must believe there are immortals that are transacting business in the, in, in, on behalf of our heavenly father. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. So, so that is why we carry our offering. That is why we come with thanksgiving. We do not come because of the man of God. We do not come because of any other person, but we come because of this transaction. We believe. Hallelujah, child of God. We believe, praise the living God. This is what I hear God is putting in my spirit to explain to us why without, you know, Abel gave, but he had faith. And God responded to him, praise the living God. But most of us, we give, we not even believe. And there is a lot of things that not happen. So faith is beyond believing. So when you come with that offering, it is an action you have taken. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. So our faith is not mixed. Even our faith is not mixed with the word of God. It will be all in vain. Praise the Lord. So may the Lord help you. Hallelujah. So there is faith that please God. That is faith in action. Let's go to the book of uh, James chapter 2. James chapter 2. Verse number. Before James chapter 2, let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Mm. I read the word of God, mm. New Living Translation. Hallelujah. And the word of God says, mm. Faith is the confidence. Faith is the confidence. That what we hope for. That what we hope for. Will actually happen. So it is the confidence of what you hope for will actually happen happen so when you believe it it will what happen take give me amplified version amplified version mm. now mm. faith is the assurance faith is what the Assur assurance the assurance the confirmation the confirmation the title deed it is the title deed of the things of the things we hope for. we hope for being so, the proof of the things we do so not when see. you have faith in god 
You can do anything. Praise the living God. You can trust any other business. That is why some of us, we pray. Some of us, we do things in the kingdom of God. But because we have little faith, we do not have faith in God. Our faith is not in God. Now we not get answers and we get weary or disappointed. Praise the living God. So faith is what? A title deed. When you have a title deed, you can transact any business in any bank. Depend with the area of that land. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So faith without action is dead. So your faith needs to be mixed with action. That is why I said that faith is an ingredient that needs to be mixed up with the word of God so that you can get a good result. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of uh, James chapter 2, verse number 14 to 17. Praise God. Faith is very important. Faith is a key in the kingdom of God, child of God. So most of us, we say, why, why faith every time? You need faith for you to transact everything. Because anything that we are transacting in the kingdom of God, everything comes up from above. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I read the word of God in mm. the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14. Yes. And the word of God says, New Living Translation, mm. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, mm. if you say you have faith, mm. but don't show it by your actions? If action. you say you have faith, but you not what? Show it, show it by, it by your actions. And that is why we say faith with action. Mm. Yes. But if you your don't show it. Your faith must be shown by what? Actions. Action. Yes. Can that kind of faith save anyone? Can that kind of faith save, save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or a sister who has no food or clothing, mm. and you say goodbye and have a good day, mm. stay warm and eat well. Even but supporting then you others, don't give. Even supporting those who do not have, you are also lifting their faith. Amen. We don't always tell people, God bless you, God bless you. Mm. We also stretch forth, you go, faith is what? A going extra mile. Mm. Yes? But then you don't give the person any food or clothing. Mm. What does that do? Mm. So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Faith by itself isn't, isn't enough. enough. Unless it Unless produces good deeds. Produce it good it deeds. is dead. It is dead. And you see. So faith, when you reach at the I believe, it is already dead. But um, unless you back it up with what? Action, now you shall get results. Praise the living God. Version. Yes. 17 mm. so also faith mm. it does not have works faith if it does, if not, it have does works, not have works deeds mm -hmm. and actions or obedience to back it up yes by itself it is dead it is dead so faith need to be added with other ingredients mm. word and then faith mix them and then what everything god did he spoke by faith the word was released and the word met the spirit. In the beginning, the earth was void and formless. And the Bible said, and the spirit of God was hovering, waiting for the word. And when the word was released in the spirit realm, the word brought desires and things were there as they were said, praise the living God. Child of God, no matter how loud God spoke to you, no matter how loud God spoke through dreams, visions, if you do not, you do not put in this faith or you do not have faith or put your faith in action, this will just be a mere dream. Praise the living God. It will just be a mere dream. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. No matter how, no matter, even if God promised you, whatever God promised you, if you do not put them in faith, it will just what? Just a dream. Praise the living God. Most of us, our services, we, most of us, we have been serving God, trusting God. But because things are not working, our, our, our response to God or to the kingdom of God, we are growing cold. Because you say, I have served God. I have been there, I have served God. I have been giving time. But the problem is, it is not God. The problem is in our faith. The problem is the action part of it. You waited, but you waited for God to do things. You have been patient, but now what are you doing in the waiting? After you are prayed, child of God. After you are prayed, what are you doing? Begin to position yourself. It is beyond prayers. Pray and start positioning yourself. 
pray and start aligning yourself. Because God, you pray and you move. As you're walking, the prayer that you prayed, God will send somebody. He will not send somebody in your sitting, praise the living God. He will not send somebody in your sitting, but God will send somebody. You meet somebody where you are walking, He will guide you. The Bible says, God guide the feet of what? The Russians, praise the living God. Faith is like a seed that is planted in a well-cultivated soil that need water, that need to be watered and what? It will germinate, praise the living God. Our faith is failing because after we receive the word of God, we say it was powerful. Service is powerful. But what did you do after the word? Mm. After getting a revelation in the word, it was powerful. But what did you do? Mm. After reading the word, doing the Bible study, that is where our problem is. The word of God says we are stupid carpenters. We are like stupid carpenters that build a house in a sandy beach. Pray the living God. That what happened? What do you expect after you build a house in the sandy beach? It will grow down. It will scramble. Praise the living God. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter, chapter 7, verse number 26 to 27. Praise the living God. Faith that works. Faith that is mixed with action will give you good results. I read the word of God in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 26 mm -hmm. and 27. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, mm. but anyone who hears my teaching, mm -hmm. New Living Translation. Anyone but who anyone, hears my teaching says, anyone who hears my teaching mm -hmm. and does not obey it is foolish. And does not obey it what? Is foolish. Is foolish. Like a person who like, builds a house on mm. a sand. So hearing a word of God and you not obey, not put in action or not practice it, what? You are become, you are a foolish man. When the rains and the floods come mm. and the wind beats against that house, when the Lord delivers, it will collapse from the with spirit the of being foolish. Crash. Because that is where we are. We hear the word of God. It was powerful. It was powerful. Oh, what a revelation I got today. But what have you done with the word? He said, when the rains come down, what happens? And the word of God says, yes. when, the, when the rains and the floods come, Mm. And the winds beat against that house. Yes. It will collapse. It will collapse. With the mighty crash. With the mighty crash. So whatever you hear from God, if you do not put it in action, and that is why circumstances of life. The Bible says, when you look at the story of the, the story of the, 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 the parable of the sower, the Bible says that uh, a man who had the word, there are those who had the word, but by the, hearing the word, the situation, the circumstances choke out the word. Praise the living God. The word was choked out. Praise the living God. The word was choked out. The word, the word did not do anything. There are those who had the word, but they say it was powerful. But the issues, there are things that are happening around their life. And that is why the Bible said that put that faith in action that when something comes, it will already be what? It is already grounded. Praise the living God. The word of God said that God will bless the work of your hand, not the work of the city. So find something to do after you are prayed Find something to do. God will bless what you are doing. He blessed. He said that what? Everything that Joseph did, God blessed. He succeeded. Because he did not stay even though he was in the prison. But whatever he did in the prison, Joseph was not seated. Joseph was not sleeping because he was in the prison. Some of us, we are in situation right now because I have prayed I'm in prison. Doors will open as it opened uh, during the time of Paul and Silas. Praise the living God. Joseph, whatever he did, he prospered. God multiply what he did because he keep on doing something. Praise the living God. Where we have reached, especially right now, with the ministers of gospel, I'm telling you, with the minister of gospel, people are waiting for the demonstration of power. People are waiting for the miracles to happen. People are looking for miracles right now. If you're not able to perform miracles, your church will not grow. These things will happen because of what? Faith. Lack of faith will make us, will make our ministry not to grow. Praise the living God. Our subjects will only believe on us or believe in our God because when they see what God is doing in our lives. Your children will only believe in your God when they see what God is doing in your life. Your spouse will believe in your God when they see what God is doing in your life. You know, we say most of the time that, oh, this they don't want to believe in my God. What is your God doing?
let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 4, verse number 2. The Bible says, and Moses was frustrated. Moses was frustrated. But God asked him, what do you have at hand? God is using what you have at hand. Have faith. Whatever you have, God will not bless what is not there. God will bless what is there. Have faith in God. Have faith. It is by your faith God is going to use what you have. Praise the living God. Amen. Mm. I read the word of God in the book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 2. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. when then the Lord asked him, asked him, what is that? He was hand? frustrated because what people were telling him, the situation around him, what was happening. He was wondering, what will I do now? How will I show them that my God is too powerful? How will they know? Will they really believe me? They cannot believe me because this God they have not seen. Now, God say, I want to come. I want to show them that I am God. Yes, he said what? And, and the, sh the shepherd's staff, mm. Moses replied. Mm. No, I, go back there. What do you want? What is that? What is that you are carrying? In your hand. God can use anything. Believe God. He can use anything in your hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Amplified version. Yes. And the Lord said to the him, Lord said to him, What is that in your what hand? What is that in your and hand? And he said, a I rod. am asking you, what is that in your hand? A rod. Yes. Throw it down on Throw the ground. It down. The Lord said to him. The Lord said to him. So Moses threw down the staff mm. and it turned into a snake. Mm. Moses jumped back. Yes. Then the Lord told he him, He jumped, he was reach afraid. Out and grab it. Whatever you carry, God will perform miracles with what you do not believe. He will do something that even you will run away. Praise the living God. Amen. He asked him, what do you have at hand? He said, a road. This is beyond a road. When you are dealing with God, God is beyond a road, child of God. It's beyond what you are seeing. Just have faith in him. And the Bible says what? He, he threw it down and even him, he jumped. Yes. He was afraid. The road turned to a snake. Uh -huh. How powerful our God is. Amen. Uh -huh. Reach out and grab it by its tail. Reach so out Moses and grab reached it. out and grabbed he it. He grabbed it again and by its tail. Back into how can you take stuff. how can you hold this tail? Then look look at this. It was a staff that Moses was holding. And all of a sudden, it turned to what? He turned to snake. And all of a sudden, God is telling him what? Now hold it. God was teaching Moses faith. Believe I can turn everything to something else. I can turn everything to sort out your situation. God can use what you have now to make people know that he's God, that you're serving a powerful God. God can use that your gift to make others know that he's a powerful God. God can use that your ministry. God can use that your business. God that can use that small that you're looking at and make people know that he is God to, for the honor and the glory of his name. Praise the living God. Four men, praise the living God. This man, he put it down and then he lifted it up again. Praise the living God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And that is what people saw and said that this man is serving a God. People are waiting for signs and wonders, child of God. Let us not lie here. People are now waiting where they are seeing. People want to see things happening. People want to see things happening. People want to see things happening. It is our faith that will make things begin to happen, child of God. Praise the living God. Faith that works. Going extra mile. Praise the living God. Four men arrive carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. And they look at the crowd. There were so many people, child of God. But Jesus was inside the hall. And these men were not able to access Jesus. But they look at their case. They say, no, we cannot go back. We cannot go back. We have to meet Jesus. But now look, look at this case now. They say we cannot go back. And they say, now what do we do? We said there's another option. Let us, I don't know how they climbed. The Bible says, we, the Bible is now only talking about what? They went on top of the roof, praise the living God. They went on top of the roof and they opened the roof and they start dropping this man. How many people that were there? Now what I'm understanding here that Every day there are people knocking the door. There are crowd knocking the door. It is your faith that will speak louder. But when they drop this man, Jesus stopped. Every activity that was in that hall stopped. Even the one that Jesus was, talk, was dealing with stopped. And Jesus looked at the man and said, your faith, your, your, your sins have been forgiven. Praise the living God. So it is your faith. There is a, a faith that can please God. It's a faith that can make heaven stand still. Heaven 
to stop his business to, to attend to you. Praise the living God. That is where we are right now. People are many. There are so many people knocking the door. There are so many people praying. There are so many people worshiping. There are so many people asking, how is your faith? Make your faith to be like emergency. Praise the living God. Let your faith, let your situation be like emergency to God and God will attend to you. There are so many people that are crying this morning. There are so many people that are crying this night. But when your case is like emergency to God, God will stop everything and attend to you. Praise the living God. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse number 3. Hallelujah. I am blessed with this word. I read the word of God in the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 3. Mm. And the word of God says, New Living Translation. Let's go to verse 3. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Amplified version. Mm. Then, they came, then they came, bringing a paralytic man to him. This man was paralyzed. Mm. We are tired with paralytic man. Mm. We are tired with the situation. Yes. Amen. Mm. New Living Translation. I don't know who whose case is paralytic now. Four mm. men mm. arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Mm. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. Yes. So they dug a hole through the roof above his head. How did, there was a crowd. Outside there, there was a crowd. Yes. In a crusade. Yes. They flied up with the faith. Mm. They faith opened the roof. Mm. And they faith then dropped they this man. Then they lowered the man lowered on the his man. mat. Oh, yes. Right down right in down. front of Jesus. Yes, in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith. Every business that was taking place stopped immediately. And Jesus seed saw the faith. Seeing the, the faith, faith that attracted. If they would have started, they would have they would have been outside there saying our this house will not hold of not not attend to not hmm. They were still outside. They jump how they jump by faith they jump up by faith they open the roof by faith they drop this man and Jesus look at them God searches the heart of man to reward he look at your heart he measures your heart he say is your heart is your situation it, is your, is your, can your situation be treated Lord like emergency praise the living God amplified version. amplified version and when Jesus saw their faith when Jesus saw their faith their confidence in God their through confidence him, of God. In God, in God, through Him, through Him, He said to so the some of us, man. we are where we are because our case is not like emergency to God. Mm. Our faith, there are so many people knocking the door. That is why we go to church and we come back with our issues. Mm. We go and we come back with our issues. Service was very powerful. Service was very far powerful. But when you come back home, things are still stand still. Your mm. faith cannot move God. No mm. action to it. Look at what they did, yes. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said what? And when Jesus saw their crowd, Try to faith, imagine, they, there was a crowd, there was a multitude. It means Jesus was attending to others. But he stopped all of a sudden. May the Lord give you faith then, that will bring heaven to stand still. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. May the Lord give you faith then, mm -hmm. that will bring heaven to stand still. Mm -hmm. Receive that gift of faith. Mm -hmm. Receive that wisdom of faith. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. He said, you are seen. Son, yes, your son. sins are forgiven. It is because of them. Your sins have been forgiven. Mm. Yes, praise God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm. And put away that is the penalty is remitted. The and that is guilt. how the man got healed. Amen. We are where we are because our faith cannot please God. We are where we are because our faith, we are not treating our case like an emergency to the kingdom of God, mm. to the heavens. Knowing who you are, child of God. Mm. Knowing who you are and knowing God that you serve. How can a witch speak to a stick and hurt you? How can a witch speak wherever he is and hurt you? And you, you are serving a God. Praise the living God. Mm -hmm. Knowing who you are and knowing God that you serve. The Bible says in the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse number 32, it says that those who know their God, they shall be, they be, strong, be strong and they shall do exploit. exploit. Know your God, who your God is, and know who you are. The Sanchira man, he knew the authority, how the authority moves. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 8 to 9. He understands the authority, child of God. Hmm. I will read the word of God mm. in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 8 to 9. 8 to 9. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. But the centurion replied, He replied, 
to him lord mm. i am i am not worthy or fit to for you to have to I come don't need under to my come and disturb you mm. but only speak the word only speak the word and my servant boy will my be cured servant will what will be healed speaking things to be only speak the word you don't need to come some of us we must come we must pray we must lay hand on you we must put oil on top of you we must do things that is when you believe praise the living god he said that what you don't need to come don't bother yourself i don't want to give you too much time jesus you have a lot of work to do just speak now mm. i understand the authority i am a man that gives order and a man that gives order and i follow order i'm a man that's given order and i I'm, i give out order praise the lord mm -hmm. yes new living translation mm. but the officer say mm. lord lord i am not worthy to have you come in I am not home. worthy to come just say the word from Speak where you the are word from where you are and my servant will be healed yes i know this because i am under the authority of my superior officer mm. and i have the authority over my soldiers hallelujah i only need to say go go and they go and they go or come so today tell things to go and if I and say to my slaves, yes. do this, do this, they do. They it. do. When Jesus had this, when Jesus had he this, was amazed. He was amazed. The he, faith that pleases God. Mm. Him himself, he knew what to do, but only needed the power of Jesus. Mm. Yes. Turning to this, those who are following him, mm. he said, I tell you the truth. Mm. I haven't seen I haven't faith seen like faith. this. Look at the two faith. In all Israel. The first faith of the four men attracted Jesus. Mm. The faith of the, 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 the centurion men attracted him. Mm. So there's a faith that will make Jesus to attend to you. No matter how, no matter the biggest, the mountain you're facing. No matter the big the challenge you're facing, child of God, there is a faith that if you speak now, when Jesus look at you, he said, this one I will respond to. Some of us, you are speaking and Jesus is wondering, what are you saying? Even the devil himself, even the demon, the small, is still wondering, what is this one saying? Does he know what he's saying? Praise the living God. Type of faith, type of faith. Number one, dead faith. We are faith that is dead. When we talk about that faith is uh, we believe but no action. Mm. I believe God. Mm. I believe God. But what are you doing? Mm. The centurion man say, no, don't come. Speak from wherever you are. Mm. And it will happen. I know the authority. Jesus, I know you. Jesus said, Father, I know. I thank you because you always answer me, hear me. He knows he's God. And say, because the because of the number, the crowd that are here, let me speak. Faith must be backed with action. After you have prayed, position yourself, align yourself, and God will begin to do things. Keep on going there. You desire something, keep on going. You desire something, keep on going. You desire to get married, keep on going. Keep on going, keep on going. Window shop the gowns. Keep on going, window shop the gowns. Getting ready for the wedding. You desire a job, keep on dressing well. You desire a job in a certain company. Keep on going there, keep on visiting. That is the action we are talking about. Keep on aligning yourself, praise the living God. The Israelites did not, when they were told to go around the, 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 the wall of Jericho, they didn't stop, they went around, they keep on going, they keep on going. Mm -hmm. By faith, the seventh day, the wall came down. So there is something that needs to come down, but because your faith is dead, you say, I, be, I prayed, I believe, you are sleeping in church waiting for Jesus to appear. Mm. Will not happen, child of God. Mm. Go and do something. God bless the work of your hand. Praise the living God. Mm. The second faith, I'm talking about the intellectual faith. Intellectual faith. This is about theories. Mm. Believe, and there is nothing you're doing. The word of God says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. The word of God. Yes. You hear the word. What have you done with the word? That's the book of Romans chapter 10, verse number 17. Don't go there, please. What did you hear and what have you done with the word? Praise the living God. Mm. What did you do with the word? Mm. Take me to the book of James chapter 1, verse number 22. The word of God says, but don't just listen 
to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are. Otherwise, you are wife. You are like what? If you are, you are, you are like a, a foolish man. Mm. Mm. I read the word of God in the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. but don't just listen to God. Don't word. just listen to God's word. You must do you what must it says. You must do what it says. What is the word telling you to do? Keep on. You know, people say don't like prophetic. Prophetic is means what? You are doing it. Keep on declaring it. Do what the word says, child of God. You must, he didn't say what, please do. He said, you must do what the word says. What does the word of God says? Yes? Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. You are only fooling yourself. Mm. So we waste our time reading the word, speaking big word, cramming the scriptures, and there is nothing we are doing. We remain there. For if you listen to the word yes. and don't obey it, mm. it's like glancing at a mirror, your but face in a mirror. You're like the one who saw yourself in a mirror and you, after walking, you have even forgotten. And you see yourself, you see yourself, walk away and forget how you look. Hallelujah. Mm. That is our faith with action. Mm. We need to do things. We need to act. Don't be like the doer. Don't be like the hearer of the word, but be the doer of the word. I think that is the uh, King James Version. Be a hearer and the doer of the word. Don't only hear the word and not doing it. Praise the Lord. Mm. Faith in action. Faith that works. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number three is faith that works. Mm. There is a faith. We have talked about the centurion man. His faith works for him. Then when he talk about the, the book of, 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 of Mark chapter 2, from verse number 3 and 4, the Bible said they, end, they, 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 they saw the multitude and they look at their situation was more urgency than others. Mm -hmm. How they went to the roof, only God knows by faith. How they removed the roof, by faith. How they entered, by faith. And Jesus' business was stopped. There is a faith that can transact business that can make the kingdom of God stop and attend to you. Praise the living God. May you receive that faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. Faith that will make God accept you. God will accept your prayers because of what? Because of your faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse number 4. There is a faith that when you have now, faith is a gift, child of God. Pray for gift of faith that Lord give me faith that pleases God. Faith that will make God accept me. Faith that will make God hear me. May I have faith that, that may my case, may I turn my case to be emergency to the kingdom of God. Praise the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. I read the word of God mm. in, in the Hebrews 11 mm. verse 4. Yes. And the word of God says, mm. by faith, by faith, that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God. God accepted Abel's what? Offering. offering because of what? So some of our offerings are not accepted because we do not have faith. We only carry all. Offering is an atonement. The Bible said do not come before God empty handed. So every offering or whatever you are offering to the kingdom of God, kingdom of God has a purpose. So you must do it with faith because there's a transaction that is taking place in the, world, in the altar. Mm. Praise the living God. Mm. So Abel had faith, but Cain did not have faith in his ego offering. And God accepted. And that is why some people bring whatever they bring in the kingdom of God and they put it in the altar and they believe there's a transaction that is taking place and God accepts their offering. Praise the living God. Amen. Yes, continue. By faith, By faith Abraham offered to Abraham God a more acceptable to God. Abel, Abel offered to God mm. a more acceptable sacrifice. So than it is by faith that God will what? Accept, accept the sacrifice. It is not the amount. It is by faith God will off accept what some of us we are offering and then we start saying men of God has stolen from us. They have been stealing from me. It is not stealing from you. It is the altar 
that transact the business. Praise the living God. So you do it by faith. I have been doing this in this altar and things are not been happening. It has been not been happening because even you yourself do not have faith in God. Mm. We are having faith in men but not God. Mm. God is not a man to lie. Mm. God has never been a man. And that is what the Bible says in the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse number, 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 number 19. God is not a man that should lie. God has never been, God was, was, was not a man. In the first place, God is not a man. He only came as a man. Mm. So God cannot lie. When God say by faith, have faith in God. Mm. How to activate your faith? How to activate your faith? The Bible says, faith comes to what? Hearing and by hearing what? The word of God alone. Through which he was commended as righteous. Mm. God command, commending him by accepting his gift. Mm. And through his faith. May the Lord accept you. I'm, I'm coming to realize that most of us, our, our gift have not been accepted. Mm. That when you keep on giving, we don't see. We keep on giving, they're rejected. Some are being rejected. Some are being rejected. Some are not seeing. God, God is a God. The Bible says, you know, we do not understand the scripture that we talked about. Uh, God is a spirit and the only what? You only worship God in spirit and what? In okay. truth. So this is faith. Mm. God only sees things in your heart. God does not see your faith. Does not see your, your eyes. God does not, does not see your, 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 your image. But he only sees your heart to respond. God searches a heart of man to reward. Abraham became a father of faith by only doing things. He offered his only son by faith. And God told him, because you have done this, in blessing I will bless you. In multiplication I will multiply you. Now, the last point as I finish, how to activate faith. The word of God says, by faith, the word of God says, faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing what? The word, the word of God. God. Number one is meditation. Because when you talk about this one, meditation, there is reading. Meditation, there is uh, hearing, there is studying. Praise the living God. So when you hear the word, when you study the word, the Holy Spirit Romans chapter 10, verse number 11, number, 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 number 17. Faith comes by what? By hearing. What do you hear? What do you hear, child of God? I read the word of God. Yes. In the book of Romans 10, 17, mm. and the word of God says, mm. So faith comes from hearing. Faith comes from hearing. That is, that is hearing the good hearing news about the Jesus. Good news about Jesus. Mm. Amplified version. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, mm. So faith comes by hearing, by hearing what is told. What is told. And what is heard. And what is comes heard by the preaching by of the, the preaching message of the that message. comes from the lip of Christ. Hallelujah. The Messiah himself. That is why meditate upon this word. Yeah. That is why it said in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse number 8. Mm. Meditate upon this word what? Day mm. and night. Mm. Hear the word. Mm. Read the word. Mm. Meditate the word. Mm. But most of us is TikTok, Facebook. Before you know it, you have, you have been in Facebook, you have been looking pictures. Three hours you are there. Mm. Four hours you go for lunch, you come back. Before you know, you are tired and you did nothing. Hear the word of God and the word of God will strengthen you. Praise the living God. Number two, through prayer. How to activate your faith? Through prayer. Pray. In the, in the, in the place of prayer, God will strengthen you. You can pray for anything and if you believe that you receive it, it will be yours. Mark chapter 11, verse number 24. You can pray for what? Anything. And if you believe, it will work. And the word of God says, mm -hmm. I read the word of God in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 24, mm -hmm. New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, I tell you, mm -hmm. you can pray for anything. You can pray for anything. And if you believe and if you that, believe you, have that it, you have received it, it will be yours. It will be yours. 
amplified version mm. for this reason for this i reason. am telling you am telling whatever you ask for you whatever in you ask prayer, for in prayer believe believe trust, trust and be confident yes. that it is granted so to you so when you pray and you will get you it. must believe mm. trust and be confident and be confident that it will be granted no you. matter how long it takes believe it has been hard mm. believe god had it Believe God has answered it. Close that chapter and pray for another thing. Place of prayer. Prayer activate faith. Number three, speaking the word of God and believing it. Speaking the word of God and believing it. Job chapter 22, verse number 28. Speaking the word of God and believing it. Keep on speaking things to be. Keep on speaking things to be. Speak by the word. Pray by the word. Declare by the word. Declare by the word. De speak the word and believe the word. Mm. Job 22, 28. Job 22, 28. Mm. And the word of God says, mm -hmm. you will succeed in whatever you choose to do. Mm -hmm. And light will shine on the road ahead of you. Speak, get the other version. Amplified version, mm. you shall also decide yes. and decree a thing. So I told you faith is decided. Uh, uh, thou shalt decree a thing mm -hmm. and it shall come to pass. King James Version. Yes. Thou shalt de thou also, shall decree de a also decree a thing and it shall be, and established, it shall be established unto thee. Unto thee. And the light so, shall shine upon thy way. Praise God. Uh -huh. So what you decree today, God will fulfill it. Pray by the word. What that the word of God says, I will be the head but not the teeth. That is the word of God. What that the word of God says, I will not die. I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. What that the word of God says, Makabado, Zigadagada, in the name of Jesus. What is the word of God say concerning your life? He said, forget not the former things because I am yet doing a new thing. Amen. Don't you see it? Don't you perceive it? You must see it in the spirit. Continue declaring it until it becomes. In the name of Jesus. He said that what? You do not have. I, it is God who knows the plan. He said, I alone know the plan. A plan to prosper you. A future you offer, not a disaster. Where are disasters are coming from? Praise the living God. What does the word of God say? The word of God says, Makala Bagada. He said, The blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow with it. There is no sorrow with the blessing of God. Praise the living God. But because we do not understand, we are speaking the word but we do not believe the word that is speaking. Praise the living God. Number four, as I finish, child of God, before I go to number four, child of God, Jesus asked them and asked them one question and say one thing that, uh, what do you mean if you believe? What do you mean? I can, what do you mean? What do you mean? There's a book of uh, uh, Mark chapter 9 verse number 23. Is it 22 23? Take me there please. Jesus asked them, what do you believe? What do you mean? What do you mean? If a person believes, anything is possible. Believe the word. Mark chapter 9, verse number 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mm. I read the word of God. Mm. What do you mean? What do you mean? New Living Translation. Yes. If I can. If I can. Jesus asked. Jesus asked. Anything is anything possible if a person believes. If a person believes. Amen. Wow. 24. Yes. Amplified version. Mm. At once the father of the boy gave an eager piercing in that. Uh, Just leave it there. The last one. Thanksgiving. Activate faith. Thanksgiving makes God see that you believe in him. That it is him that did it. Praise the living God. When you thank God, you believe in God. You have assurance in God. You believe that it's God that is doing things. That is what the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Says, Do not be anxious for anything, but with prayer and thanksgiving and supplication, pray to God, tell God anything, ask him anything. Do not be do not doubt. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, mm. I read the word of God, 
And the word of God says, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Instead, but instead pray about pray everything. About everything. Tell, Tell God, God what you need. Tell God what you need. Thank him. Thank him. For all he has done. Even if you're not saying thank him. Amen. What he did yesterday, thank him. Because you have a life. Thank him for today. Thank him for even tomorrow. Mm. What he did yesterday, thank him. Mm. Thank him for what he's doing now. What he's doing now. And what he's about to do in the name of Jesus. Mm. I want us to begin to speak things to be tonight. Tonight is a night of speaking things. We are activating our faith. We are beginning to speak things. What is the word of God says? I want you to come and decree and to declare. In the name of Jesus, I will no longer be come down again. In the name of Jesus, Lord, may my faith begin to rise and walk. My faith shall walk in the name of Jesus. Read for me verse number, number, number four. Number, the, the scripture that you have just read. The Bible said the man told Jesus that my faith, that is the book of Mark chapter, Mark chapter 9 verse number 24, Mark chapter 9 verse number 24, Jesus told him that what do you mean if, if what do you mean? I say anything can happen if a person believes and the man cried and said Shalagabada, Lemporo Kataba. I read yes. the word of God Ye in the book of Mark, the book of Mark chapter, chapter 9 verse 24, 24. Mark the father instantly the cried father out, instantly I cried. do believe I do believe, but help me but overcome help my me unbelief. Overcome my and believe. Mm -hmm. I want you to pray, Lord, help me, Lord. Lord help me overcome my belief the Bible says if a person believe Lord I believe but help me overcome my belief in the name of Jesus I want someone to decree and tell him my father my God in the mighty name of Jesus I believe my God the Bible says if you have only a small faith like a mustard seed you shall speak to the mountain and the mountain shall move you shall speak to the mountain and the mountain shall move in the name of Jesus just somebody begin to speak every mountain my father my God my faith my God in the name of Jesus my father my God I stand upon the word of God in the book of in the Mark chapter chapter 9 verse number 24 the Bible says Makadagada he said the man the, the man told Jesus truly I believe I believe but Makataba, Elo Pradaza, I believe, but help me overcome my disbelief. Help me overcome my unbelief. Help me overcome my doubt. By Father, my God, by your mercy, by your mercy, help your people, my God. Help us, Lord, to overcome our disbelief. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus says, What do you mean if a person believe? If a person believe, anything is possible. All things are possible when we believe but there's a spirit of disbelief there's a spirit of doubt my father my god help us my god help us my father my god to starve the disbelief and may we feed our, our faith in the name of Jesus. Help me to starve my disbelief. Help me to starve my disbelief and my faith begin to rise. May I feed my faith in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, help me, my Father, where my faith is weak, where my faith is weak, where my faith cannot walk, let my faith arise. Where my faith had fallen, let my faith arise and begin to walk in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Jesus said, he was talking to Simon Peter. He says, Simon, Simon, the devil has vowed, the enemy has vowed to save you like a wheat. But my prayer is that may your faith not fall. Where your faith had fallen, where the enemy has saved you like a wheat, where the challenges of life has saved you like a wheat. Today, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, your faith shall arise. Your faith shall arise. You will overcome this belief. You will overcome this belief and believe you will overcome in the name of Jesus. Your faith will arise, your faith is arising. Shakabada in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall speak things to me as they kabada in the name of Jesus. The centurion man spoke and say, I am a man of authority. I speak things and they begin to be begin to decree now. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare tonight in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. That sickness shall begin to go. That brick in Potozika, Labado, Ziada, in Tolobrada, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare right now that growth shall disappear. That growth shall disappear. That growth shall disappear. That growth shall disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to every growth. That mountain that you've been going through, that mountain, that sickness, whatever they call it, shall disappear in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak right now. My Bible says, Whosoever shall have a small faith like a much seed shall speak to the mountain, and the mountain shall move. That mountain shall begin to go. I speak to every mountain in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, What do you have at hand? I come to decree in the name of Jesus. May the Lord multiply. Whatever you have at hand shall begin to work in the mighty name of Jesus. In 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 the name of Jesus, may the Lord align you wherever the enemy displace you. May you be aligned. May you be aligned. May you be aligned. May you be aligned. This evening, you shall be aligned in the name of Jesus. May the Lord position you, child of God. Be positioned. Be positioned wherever you are displaced. You are not in your real place, and the blessing of God is coming. The Bible said, "The blessing of God make it rich and added no sorrow." I have come to decree. Turn upon the authority of the word. The Bible says, "You shall not be the tail, and you shall be the head." In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will decree that you you will not die. You will not die. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will live and declare the goodness of Lord in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mark Abadam. The Bible says, "Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall come to pass." I have come to decree every promises that God has promised you, according to the book of Joshua, chapter twenty-one, verse number forty-five. In the name of Jesus, every good promises that the Lord has released upon your life that the Lord promised you shall come to pass 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 in the name of Jesus begin Bakataba in Pradeka where your blessing were delayed in the name of Jesus I have come to decree they shall come to pass they shall come to pass in the name of Jesus the Bible says the Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 10 chapter 11 verse number 32 those who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit from today your ministry will begin to do exploit. Your business will begin to do exploit. Your children, Iparagada, Impakatada, Zento Pariga, Elabragadagada, Zanlikoto Brade, Makanto Zeka, in the name of Jesus, Barika Badada, I decree now, you shall begin to do exploit. You shall begin to do exploit. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, Daniel prayed for 21 days, and the prince of Persia heard the prayers today, whosoever, every power, every authority, any altar that has been holding your prayer, that has been holding your prayer, they shall release it now. In the name of Jesus, they shall release it. They are being released. They are being released. They are being released. I decree now. Be released now. Be released now. Your blessings are going to be released. In the name of Jesus, your daughter, your child is being released. In the name of Jesus, wherever they displace your home right now, may the Lord align them. Touch your home if you dare this child. Touch it now because God is releasing your blessing. Now be aligned. Be aligned. Your breakthroughs being aligned. In the name of Jesus, you are prophet that have been delayed are being brought down by the power in the name of Jesus I speak today by the authority of the word of God the centurion man's freedom I'm a man under authority I order I know how to give order and I'm not how to be given order I give order to every situation every delay in the name of Jesus the Bible says all the promises that God promised shall come to pass they shall not be delayed every delay every delay I rebuke you now any demon of delay right now. I rebuke you now. Hear the voice of God. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you now. You shall release their blessing. You shall release their destiny. You shall release them. That which the Lord has done, that which the Lord has aligned, wherever they have displaced you, you are going back to your position. That lifting, where you have been stayed, you have stayed the stunted growth. You shall begin to grow. There shall be lifting upon your life. There shall be promotion. There shall be a shift. I speak shift in the realm of the spirit. I speak shift in the realm of the spirit. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Decree you are blessed. Child of God, you are blessed. No more shall you stay in the same situation. No more shall you be in the same situation. By faith, God respond to the prayer of 
happen. Whatever you've been giving from today, God will answer you. God will multiply. By faith, God spoke to Abraham. I say, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplication, I will bless you. I will multiply you. May the Lord multiply you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord move you where you have not been moving. May the Lord move you in the name of Jesus. May you have a faith that the man that was having, the foreman had. May you have such faith in the name of Jesus. May your case be emergency. May the Lord treat your case as emergency. That case of yours, may it be treated as emergency. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we worship you. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon our life, our destiny, our faith. Have mercy upon our faith. Have mercy upon the faith of your children. Have mercy, my Father, my God. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. Can somebody say a big amen? Say amen seven times. You agree. Perfect that amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Child of God, believe God. He said that whosoever pray and believe, believe that it is done. Anything that God has spoken that has come according to your word, believe God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much. We want to thank God for this far and what he's doing. Child of God, if you're not born again, all these things will just be like a mere dream for you. That is also believing in Jesus. I want you to pray tonight and tell him, Father, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I have come before your throne of grace and mercy with a repentant heart. Lord, it is true, my faith had fallen. My faith had fallen. It is true, I have no faith in you. I never believe in you because of what has been happening. But today you have spoken to me. Lord, wash me, cleanse me, have mercy upon me. Purify me from inside to outside. You are my purifier. Erase every iniquities upon my life. In the name of Jesus, erase my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, every spirit, my God, of anger, bitterness, offense that is in me, erase them, delete them, my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, delete my name in the book of darkness, write my name in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, from today I am born again. I dedicate myself back to you. The Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, they are of new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. You are of new creation. God bless you in Jesus' name. After you pray that prayer, please, our numbers are on the screen. Kindly drop your, your, your message there and we shall respond to you. God bless you. Shalom. We thank God so much for the word that has come for today. We thank him because we are being taught about faith. And as we have learned that there is the kind of faith that pleases the Lord. And as it is written that without faith, it is impossible to please God. May the Lord give us the kind of faith that pleases him in the mighty name of Jesus. Where our faith had fallen, where our faith had become weak. May the Lord strengthen our faith in this season. As he said from the beginning of the year, that is returning with a son may we not miss our son because our faith is weak in the mighty name of jesus may the lord strengthen our faith in this season in this month in this year that we shall receive all the blessings that our father has come with and has already attained and has already ordained for us in the mighty name of jesus may the lord strengthen your faith in this season that we shall not miss his mark of faith that our faith shall not fail us in our place of assignment that our faith shall not fail us when we need when the lord wants to use our faith to attain the goal and his purpose for us in the mighty name of jesus I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much for being part of the growth, for being part of them that are in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. We really appreciate your presence. We appreciate your waking up each and every morning. May the Lord bless you. We appreciate you for being part of the growth in the, in the YouTube in the mighty name of Jesus. May the good Lord bless you. We thank God so, so much for what he's doing 
in our lives in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for your text of encouragement. Thank you so much for the text that we receive and we are hearing and we are getting to hear what the Lord is doing in your lives, the testimonies. May the Lord do continue doing you good in the mighty name of Jesus. And just as he's doing it for others, you are next to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony is in this season. May our faith not fail us to receive our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much. I also want to appreciate you and to welcome you on our weekly programs that begins on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Time is 5 to 6 a.m. East African time in the Spear of Prayer Facebook Live by the Servant of God, Pastor Stephen Ouko. As you join us, you shall be blessed because every week the Lord has something new for us. We are growing from level to level, glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please join us then. I also want to encourage you by the grace of God, we have a program programs on Tuesday we call it push praying until something happens we pray and we push in the spirit and we know that our faith as the Lord is strengthening our faith we shall not miss our season in the mighty name of Jesus on Friday by the grace of God it's called the morning of conquering we conquer in the spirit please join us then 5 to 6 a.m east african time and i know that the lord shall bless you on friday by the grace of God at 10 p.m east african time youtube channel we have a program then please join us every friday by the grace of God friday at 10 p.m now that one is in on YouTube. It is a recap of all that you have learned the entire week. And I know that the Lord shall bless you. It is just one hour in the presence of God. And it is not just an ordinary hour, but it is the hour of release, a night of release. The Lord is re releasing his blessings and by faith we are receiving it. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you as you join us then. I also want to encourage you, please, as you join the YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. Be part of them that are helping us to take this word to the ends of the nation. And I know that the Lord shall bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you so, so much for being part of the growth. Thank you for, for your support towards the ministry. Thank you for your support even towards the servant of God. May the Lord richly bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I know that the Lord that rewards, because as it is written, that, that, that he rewards them that diligently seek him. Even as you sow the seed, even as you sow towards the ministry, towards the growth in any way, be it in your offering be it in your tithe or thanksgiving i know that that seed that you're sowing shall germinate in the mighty name of jesus and as we have learned by the servant of god through the word of today that that we miss to receive because we do not sow in faith may the lord give you faith that as you are going to sow beginning from this word this season you shall receive your reward you shall receive your harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless your work. May the Lord bless your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, for them that wants to start or them that want to continue, our numbers are on the screen. We have the account number. You can use them. We have the pay bill number. You can use it. We also have the direct line of 0725-951-707. And I know that the Lord shall bless you as you give in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you give a prayer to to you is may the Lord richly supply you according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus for prayer and counseling please you can use the number 0725 951 707 or you can use the number 0703 1152 42 thank you so much for them that have already begun using those numbers and I know that as we are trusting God together by faith the Lord is going to do the impossible because we serve the miracle working God the impossibility specialist in the mighty name of Jesus and just as we have learned in the seven keys of what the Lord is how the Lord activates our faith we have been told prayer is part of it meditation is part of it thanksgiving is part of it and and please I want you to to, to be part of them that are doing it in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and richly bless you in this season. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, where your faith had fallen, may the Lord activate it. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, our faith shall do the impossible because we are called for signs and wonders in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm.